Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to this men's only yoga practice. So with, with men, I mean, I'm not a man, but <laughs> um, men have some challenging issues in their body. Uh, men are really strong and they've got bigger muscles than women do. And they have a tendency to overwork the muscles in their shoulders, in their backs, and in their hamstrings. And so these are, these are little problem areas for most men. So as well as they have a really hard time sitting up nice and tall. And that's most of the time it's from their back, again, from their hamstrings and from their shoulders. And what, what happens is we find men have a tendency, and I'm not just saying men because women sometimes do as well too, but it's more observant with men that they have a tendency for a lot of imbalance. And it's sometimes it's just the way that you're built. And sometimes it's because of the way that men do things. Um, they, they're lifting heavy things. Men are like to do a lot of um, big work. So they're lifting up heavy things most of the time. And they're, they're doing a lot of active work moving around and sometimes what ends up happening is there's an imbalance so in the shoulders sometimes there's an imbalance in they're having very very strong upper backs but not strong through this front and upper part of the chest also they're they're using their core in a way that isn't really sustainable so what ends up happening is instead of using the thighs and the core as in one unit, what ends up happening is men tend to put a lot more of the pressure and the weight into their backs. And this, I mean, it's normal to do that. It's, it's absolutely normal and it happens. So, but we want to try to, to make sure that we have a, balance in our bodies because when it doesn't the tendency is to put the weight into the back and then the back can't support that we need to have balance so we need to be using our core so our abs and our back and our thighs and our buttocks all in one so when we're lifting something up something heavy we're using all of those muscles together in unison, in unison. And that will help to spread out the weight and not put the whole back into uh, making, it, making it only being used that way. So um, another thing is the hamstrings. Hamstrings can get really, really tight, a majority of us. And, but, what happens is we tend to use the muscles in the thigh a lot more, in the front of the thigh, the quads. Those are big muscles. So we tend to use these a lot more. And again, there's the imbalance. So the imbalance is, is in the hamstrings and they can become really, really tight. And when they're really, really tight, that actually can pull on the back as well too and make the back hurt. And it's just really our kind of our lifestyle, just sometimes a little bit more of the seated postures. Sometimes it's just the way that we're walking and we're always moving forwards. We're always moving to bend something and pick something up. And again, finding that imbalance of, of doing it using the, um, the back instead and the, the front of the thighs a little bit more instead of an overall. So anyway, we're gonna correct all that. We're gonna work on correcting that. So let's just start with getting a blanket. So that's gonna help with your seat. And just fold it up so that you can sit like right on the edge of that. So we're sitting on the edge and then crossing your legs however you feel comfortable. 
And you'll, you'll find when you're sitting on the edge of that blanket, your pelvis is going to tilt. So the bottom of the pelvis is going to remain almost stationary or maybe tilt backwards a little bit. And the front of the pelvis is gonna actually tilt forward a little bit. And you're actually gonna be able to sit up much taller and it's gonna feel so much better on your back. So much better on your back. And it's not gonna throw your shoulders out as well. So we're gonna sit up nice and tall like this and bring in the belly up just a little bit, just to engage these muscles in and around the abdominals. So when we're engaging these muscles, we wanna bring the belly button in and up. So it's almost like a, a J, like a hook. So we're gonna bring the belly in, inwards and up. So in and up, like a hook. Okay, and then you're gonna feel a little bit more of engagement there. It's gonna feel a little bit stronger. That's gonna to help to support the back too. Okay, so when we're sitting in the position, we're just going to close our eyes softly and gently and just begin. So creating some awareness and some connection. So let's begin connecting with everything that's around us. Just noticing the space that you're in, what's happening in that space. So with the eyes closed, our senses can be a little, become a little bit stronger because we're not using the eyes. So let's use the nose a little bit more in the smell. What do you smell in the space that you're in? Open up your ears a little bit more and what do you hear in the space that you're in? What do you feel? Maybe you feel the, the heat or maybe some coolness. Maybe you can feel the clothes that's on, that are on your body. Perhaps you can feel what's underneath you the ground, your mat, perhaps the blanket underneath you or a cushion, maybe your hands on your thighs, or your knees. And then allow that awareness to go inwards a little bit and then you can begin to maybe you know, taste, what do you taste? Maybe it's breakfast, coffee, whatever, toothpaste, whatever. Just notice that. And then this is a really great time to do a little body scan. Noticing how your muscles are feeling, how your ligaments are feeling, your joints as you sit here. Maybe for many of you, you're not used to sitting in this way, so you can change it. Above all, we want to make sure that you are somewhat comfortable without any pain. And we like to practice ahisma, which means kindness and nonviolence. So it starts with ourselves. So just being, being aware of that. And then let's go a little bit deeper in as we scanning our bodies. Let's notice what's going up in our heads. What kind of thoughts are moving around up there? Noticing if the mind is cluttered or if there's space between those thoughts. If those thoughts are repetitive. Just begin to notice what's going on there. And then get in tune with your breath. Notice your way that you're breathing. Don't change your breath. Just notice the way that the air is moving in and out through your body. So perhaps your mouth is open, so you might be breathing in that way. You might notice that the air is going through your nostrils. Maybe one is a little bit more dominant than the other one. Just noticing that. Perhaps you can even notice the beating of your heart. 
chest cavity. If you don't, maybe just bring a hand over to your heart and just feel it beating. Just noticing that rhythm. And with every breath that you breathe, maybe allow that breath to deepen this a little bit more. And maybe now you can bring your hand to your lower belly. And just with every breath, allow that breath just to deepen, go a little slower. Getting a little bit fuller. Moving into more of a yogic breath, which is a little bit of a deeper, fuller breath. I like to visualize this as balloon breathing. So visualizing yourself as a balloon and filling up that balloon from the belly all the way up into sides of the body, into the chest and into the back. As if you were a great big balloon and you were filling yourself out and then slowly let that air all the way back out again. Taking your time, just feeling that natural rhythm of breathing and how it feels in the body. If this is the first time you're doing this, it might feel uncomfortable. That's okay. The more you do it, the more natural it's going to become, the more habitual it will become. It will become a habit. Okay. So now that breath is coming in and out of the body nice and slow. We can open up our eyes. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to start to work on our shoulders <clears throat> a little bit and our upper back. So we're going to come down into, onto our backs. We can keep the knees bent here or you can keep them straight up. That's okay, either or. And we're just going to just ally ourselves down here. So knees can be bent or they can be straight and just feel ourselves on the ground to begin with. Just feel our connection to the ground. Your eyes can be open or closed, it doesn't matter. Take a few breaths here just to notice the solidity, the, the foundation that you're lying on, the support. Feeling grounded, rooted down. And then we're going to bend into the knees and we're going to turn into a fetal position onto one side. So I'm going to start on my left side. We're going to do both sides. So if you can start whatever side you like. Okay. So, and maybe you want to take your blanket and then just maybe put it underneath your head. I think for most, most, uh, most men, just because they have bigger shoulders, it is actually a good thing to have a pillow or a blanket underneath your head. And that will keep your neck in line instead of having it crunch down too much. And then we're going to reach both arms out in front of us. So our knees are bent. We're just relaxing into the ground. And our arms are out in front of us, palms to touching together. Okay. So we're going to leave our lower bodies like this. But our upper bodies are going to move. So we're going to take a big breath in. So I'm on my left side, so my right arm is going to move first. So I'm going to breathe in, and I'm going to reach that right arm forward, reach it forward as far as I can, and then open it up, twisting over. So this right arm is going to go over towards the right side. Okay, and then my shoulders are going to now connect to the ground. My legs are still the same. I haven't moved my legs or my feet. My head is looking up towards the ceiling, or I might be looking over towards the right side. So I'm going to take a nice big breath in here. And on my exhale, I'm going to bring myself all the way back. That right arm is going to come all the way back. We're going to do that two more times. So on your inhale, you're going to reach that right arm forward as far as you can, and then open up nice and wide. Your head can move over towards the right side or it can keep centered. And you're going to rest both shoulders on the ground, feeling that space in the chest that you created. And then on your next exhale, bring that right arm back. 
and do that one more time. So inhale, reach yourself forwards and open up. We're still inhaling here. Nice big inhale. Getting that shoulder right down on the ground. Stay here, keeping that chest wide open. And then on your next exhale, bring that right arm all the way back. Good. Okay, so we're gonna change the position a little bit. We're gonna take that right hand again. We're gonna reach it forwards, but this time that arm is gonna go right above our heads. Right above our heads, reaching around, making a half circle as the arm comes all the way over towards the right side again. So feeling that rotation in that shoulder joint. And do whatever you need to do to move it, but without any pain. So you might need to bend your, your elbow a little bit more. You might need to change it up a little bit. That's perfectly fine. On your exhale, your arms, right arm's gonna come up above your head again. And then all the way back, bringing your hands together. Okay, we're gonna do that two more times. So inhale, reach that right arm forwards, and then above the head. You can bend into the elbow as much as you need to. Keeping the chest wide open, moving slowly, being aware of all the sensations that are happening in this position. It's gonna be really opening here in the shoulder, in the chest. And then on the exhale, bring that arm all the way back. Good, and we're gonna do that one more time. So inhale, reach the arm forwards, above the head, all the way over towards the right side. Again, making any adjustments that you need to make. Your head can stay centered or it can move towards the right side. Allow the shoulder blades to rest down and the shoulders onto the ground. And then inhale, or I should say exhale, bring in your arm all the way back. Good. And just rest here for a moment, just noticing how that all felt. Try to relax the shoulders. Okay, now we're gonna move the arm in the, rotate that shoulder in the opposite direction. So as you inhale, you're gonna reach that right arm forwards and then bring that arm down by your hip. So the arm is coming down by the hip and you're opening it up in the opposite direction. This might be easier for some and it might be a little bit difficult for others. So entirely up to how that feels in your body. On your exhale, bring it, the arm right back down by the hip and then bringing those hands together and making any adjustments that you need to make. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, reach the arm forwards, bring that arm all the way down by the hip, opening up nice and wide. Stay there for maybe a moment, maybe an extra breath. And then when you're ready on your exhale, bring that arm all the way back down by the hip, and bring it back towards the left hand. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, reach the arm forwards. The arm comes down by the hip, opening it up. Relax the shoulders down. Stay here for maybe an extra breath. And then when you're ready, exhale it all the way back. Down by the hip. And bring those arms back together. And then just stay here for a moment. And then you're gonna roll yourself back onto your back. So again, your knees can be bent or they can be extended out. And just notice the difference, how you feel on one side of your body compared to the other side of your body. You might feel more open through that right shoulder, the right side of the chest the right upper back. Try to notice as much as you possibly can. Okay, so we're gonna do it on the other side. So I'm going to move so that you can see me doing it on the other side. So bring your blanket if you need to. I'm gonna move over to the other side. And we're gonna start on our backs. Knees bent, 
And then we're going to move over onto that right side of the body. So have your head supported so it's not crunching. And your right arm's going to reach out in front of you. And you're going to take your left hand and connect the palms. So your knees are bent. You're going to keep your knees and your feet and your hips, your lower, your lower body in this position. Okay. And then on your next inhalation, we're going to do exactly the same thing we did on the other side. So on this side. So the left hand is going to reach forward as we breathe in. And it's going to open up nice and wide. Getting those shoulders right down on the ground. Maybe the head is going to move. And see if you can just settle here. Adjusting however you need to adjust. Okay, so don't force anything. Don't try to struggle. And then on your exhale, you're going to bring the arm all the way back. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, reach forwards. And then open it up nice and wide. Taking your time, making any adjustments that you need to make. You can look towards the left hand if you like or not. Try to get that shoulder down onto the ground. You might need to adjust something in the hips or the legs. It's going to feel different on this side than on the other side. And then exhale, bring the arm all the way back. Good. Okay, I'm going to do that one more time. Inhale, reach as far as you can forwards. And then open up nice and wide. Bring those, those fingers up towards the ceiling. Opening up through this side of the body. Get those shoulders down. Move your head if you need to. Making any adjustments that you need to make. And then on your exhale, bring that arm all the way back. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to go around the head this time. So inhale, reach the arm forwards. And then we're going to bring the arm all the way above the head, rotating the arm all the way out towards that left side. Bending the elbow as much as you need to to get it there and get those shoulders down onto the ground. You can move the head if that feels good or not. And then on your exhale, bring the arm all the way back above the head over towards that right hand. Okay, we'll do that two more times. Inhale, reach. Arm comes around and up. Above the head and around. Getting those shoulders down onto the ground. And then inhale it. Exhale it, I mean, all the way back. Again, making any adjustments that you need to make. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, reach forwards. And then bring that arm all the way above your head. All the way above and then bring it over towards that left side making any adjustments might be feeling a little bit more open try not to struggle with it and then exhale bring that arm all the way back making sure that you breathe through this and that you're not holding your breath okay because when you hold your breath you create a lot more tension in the body okay so now we're going to bring that hand by the hip. So inhale, reach the arm forwards. The arm comes down by your hip, and it opens and rotates in the opposite direction. For some people, this is going to be a little bit easier or a little bit tougher. So do what you need to do. Relax where you need to relax. Move where you need to move. And then exhale, bring that arm right back down by the hip, and bring those hands back together. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, reach the arm forwards right down by the hip opening up rotating that arm towards the left side and then exhale bring it all the way back moving nice and slow with your breath taking your time good and then one last time inhale reach it forwards down by the hip open up the arm towards that left side moving the head if that feels good in your neck allowing the shoulders to rest on the ground and then on your exhale bring that arm all the way back and the arms come together we're just gonna stay here for a moment 
And then when you're ready, you can move yourself onto your back again, maybe keeping the knees bent, maybe stretching out your legs. Just noticing how that left side now might feel different. And maybe comparing the two, the left side, the right side, noticing your shoulders, the arms, your chest, maybe even through your core. Noticing as much as you possibly can how all this movement affected your body. Okay, and then on your next inhale, we're just gonna stretch ourselves out. Arms come above your head, point your toes, reach and stretch. Maybe wiggle your fingers, maybe wiggle your toes. Good. And then we're gonna bend into the knees and come on to our feet and our arms are down by our sides okay so we're going to start to get into that lower back now so we're going to start to do some little pelvic tilts so the top of the pelvis we're going to bring that down and we're going to lift the bottom of the pelvis up so it's not that much of a, a movement and then we're going to bring it back down so inhale to lift it up just a little bit it's like a little tuck, the top is tucking down. We might pull the belly button in a little bit here. And then bring it back. So maybe pushing up the belly. So we can breathe in here if we like. And then exhale, tuck it in. So it's like a little rocking motion. The movement's not that big. Pushing our feet into the ground. Inhale as the belly comes up. A little bit of an arch might happen here. I can slide my hands right underneath. And then rounding up, pushing your back into the ground. So this is like a cat and cow on our backs. So we're using our back muscles here. We're also using our core muscles. So this is helping to create some balance in the core. So in the back, in the abdominals, to create some balance here. Stretching and strengthening as we move back and forth. So don't hold your breath here. We're just breathing in and out. So breathing in. As the belly comes up, we just recreate that arch. And exhale as we bring the bottom of the pelvis forwards. A couple more times, moving in this way. Just feeling that rocking motion. Rocking is also very, very soothing to the body too. It's a very calming motion. So don't try to force anything here, but keep that connection with our feet. Let's do that one more time. Belly comes up, we're inhaling here, and then exhale, round out. Good. And then bring yourself back to center. Just holding yourself here. Take a few breaths. Noticing how all that feels. And then we're going to roll over onto one side and push ourselves up. Okay, and we're going to get our blanket again, or our cushion. Put it down and we're going to sit again on it. On the edge of it, so that we have our little pelvis tilt a little bit more. So that we're sitting up nice and tall. Okay, and you can do either leg in front. And it's kind of nice to change positions every once in a while just to create balance in the body. You're going to notice on one side it feels totally different and maybe totally uncomfortable. <laughs> so just keep changing it up and your body will adjust to that and it'll get easier. Okay, so we're going to do some side bends now. So we're going to inhale the arms all the way up. We'll start with the right hand first. Take the right hand, I'm gonna reach it down by onto the ground. And we're gonna stretch out that left side of the body. Try to keep the shoulders away from the ears. And then inhale to lift up. 
and then exhale, plant that left hand down and side bend over. So we wanna to try to keep the buttocks equal into the ground. So inhale to lift, exhale to move over. Nice, lots of space between the ears and shoulders. Inhale to lift, reach up tall, exhale to move over. We're gonna do that one more time. Inhale to lift, and exhale over. And we're just gonna stay here for a moment. Root down through that right hand, root down through both hips, both sit bones, both glute muscles. And just notice here, maybe you need to change the way that you're looking. Maybe you need to relax your shoulders a little bit more or your eyes or your jaw. See so if you can find the place that you find yourself at ease here. Maybe it's too much on your hand. Maybe you need to maybe bring your hand to your shoulder or rest your hand on your head. On your next inhalation, bring yourself back up. Grow a little taller. And then take that left hand and bring it down by your side. And then move over into that side bend opening up the right side of the body. And again, we're gonna just stay here. Again, just noticing the way that your sit bones or your glutes are attached. Making sure that they're balanced there. You're putting some weight into that left hand. You might feel some opening up into that right armpit. Maybe the hands tingling. Maybe you need to bring the hand down onto your shoulder. Maybe you need to adjust your head. This is a really great time to experiment and see what's happening. Maybe your hand comes to your head. Maybe you can soften somewhere else. And then on your next inhalation, bring your arms all the way up. Reach up as tall as you can. Grow, 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 grow and then bring your arms back down by your side. Okay, we're gonna just do a little twist. Let's change your legs again. So if you had your right leg forward, so you can be sitting like this too, okay? Or really, however feels comfortable to you. And we're gonna just do a little twist. So we're gonna take a breath in here, and then we're gonna take our right hand, place it onto our left knee, Take the left hand and bring it back behind you. So maybe pushing into the cushion. So we're gonna still stay up nice and upright. We're not hunching forward or caving forward. We're still standing up upright. And the twist is coming from our mid torso area, okay? Soften through the shoulders. Next breath, inhale, come back to the center. On our exhale, we're going to move in the opposite direction. So that means the left hand comes to the right knee. The right hand comes behind you, pushing into the ground or the cushion. Shoulders stay soft. And again, we're just twisting from this midsection. Relax the shoulders. On your next inhalation, come back to center. We'll do that one more time. Exhale, going towards the left side. Right hand to right, left knee. Left hand behind you. Try not to strain or struggle with. Struggle. On your next inhalation, come back to center. And then on your next exhale, left hand to right knee, right hand behind you. Sit up as, right, tight, as, as tall as you can, soften through your shoulders. Maybe the neck wants, the head wants to twist a little bit more. Maybe the eyes want to go a little bit further. Don't struggle or strain. Make sure you're breathing. And on your next breath, bring yourself and then just stay here for a moment, just noticing all that felt. 
Okay. And then we're going to come onto our hands and knees. Now, if you need to put something onto underneath your knees, do that. So you can use your blanket if you like. So you're going to spread out your hands. Your pointer fingers are going to point forwards. Wrists are underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips, okay? And you have maybe about six inches, four to six inches, maybe a little bit more between your knees. Entirely up to you, however that feels. You're, let's try with the toes directly behind the heels this time, pressing onto the tops of the feet. Everyone's gonna have some different issues with this, so just check it out how it feels. We'll do it both ways with our toes tucked. So holding it here, pull in through the belly button. And we're going to try to create a nice, strong, level back. So pull the belly button in and up. Spread out the shoulder blades. So we want to move the shoulder blades from the right and the left away from the spine. But we don't want to cave in there. We don't want to have a little dip in the spine. So we want to make sure that right in between those shoulder blades, right here, it's level and it's there, we don't have a dip there. So try to push your heart, I like using that image, push your heart up, okay? And the shoulders away from each other. Your hands are firmly into the ground. And then we're going to start to do some, we're just going to move ourselves forward and back. Just forward and back a few times. Pressing into the tops of the feet. I'm just noticing how this feels in the body. Good. And then we're going to come back to our center and tuck the toes under this time. Trying to get that connection into all 10 toes if possible. Some people are going to be able to do this and some two people are not. So we're still pushing the ground away from us. And now we're going to drop the belly, bring the, the glutes up, open up through the throat, through the chest, creating some space in the shoulders. This is our cow. We were doing the same sort of thing when we were on our backs doing those pelvic tilts. And now we're going to tilt the back. Upwards, tilting the pelvis inwards, dropping the head. This is our cat, pushing the ground away. And we're just going to keep moving that way. So we're inhaling, dropping the belly. So we're stretching out the belly here. We're strengthening the back. And moving into our cow, pushing the back away from us, stretching the back out here, pulling the belly button in, contracting and strengthening the abs as we stretch out the back. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Do that a couple more times. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Do that one more time. Inhale, our cow. Exhale, our cat. And then we're going to bring ourselves back to our table with our toes untucked. And we're going to bring our hips down towards the heels. So everyone's going to be a little bit different on this, depending on how, how balanced you are with your, your thighs and everything. So you might end up just coming this far and bringing your arms out. So just going to where you can. We're going into child's pose. So if you can bring it here, you might even want to bring your blanket. This is an option. Bring it underneath here and just sit on a little bit. Entirely up to you, or if you can bring your forehead down and allow yourself to relax. So this is a resting pose. If you feel too much stress in your shoulders here, you can also bring your, your hands back. Some people like to do that. It really depends on how it feels in your body. 
Some people find that have, having the shoulders drop creates more stress. So then just bring your arms down here. They can be, elbows can be bent. So you decide, experiment with the position and see what works for you. We're gonna take two more breaths here. Nice, long, deep breaths. And then we're gonna push ourselves back into our table. Move that cushion. And then we're gonna bring ourselves into a nice little downward dog. So that means we're gonna curl the toes and we're gonna lift our hips up into the air. Now we're gonna keep a nice bend in the knees to begin with, okay? Heels are up. We're not putting the heels down yet. And we're just stretching out our shoulders. So creating a lot of space in between the shoulders and the ears. So that might mean the elbows are gonna be bent a little bit more and we're doing an external rotation. So the arms are going to be turning outwards, outwards to create some space between the ears and the shoulders, okay? Lengthening through the arms, lengthening through the back, buttocks are sticking up. So our sit bones are going up towards the sky, bending the knees as much as you need to, letting the head just hang here, maybe shake it yes and no. And then you can play around with stretching out the hamstrings because we're gonna get into that a little bit more now. So maybe bringing one heel towards the ground, bending one knee, straightening out the other knee. And the heels are reaching towards the ground. It's like pedaling, pedaling or walking. We call it walking the dog, moving the heels up and down, stretching out those hamstrings and calves, Nice and slow. Do that for a couple more times. Good. And then lift up onto your toes and then bring your heel knees back down. And then we're gonna sit back down. <laughs> and then we're gonna come down again onto our backs. Okay. So keeping the knees bent, we're gonna hug the knees in towards our chest and just rock from side to side, massaging out the back. Side to side, side to side. Maybe doing little circles. So you can hold on to the shins like I'm doing here, or you can hold on underneath the thighs as well too. And maybe you don't even bring your, your knees in as close as I am. It, that's totally fine. You just do what you can do. Your legs do not need to be together either. I'm just massaging in that lower back, in that mid back. Good. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our, bring our feet down onto the ground. Okay. So, Pushing the weight into that left foot, you're gonna bring the right foot and squeeze, try to squeeze that knee in towards the chest. And it might come in close, it might not. You don't have to hold on to the shin, you can hold underneath. Or maybe you're just like this, that's perfectly fine. Okay? And then we're gonna try to push that foot up into the air. You want a little bit more of a stretch, flex the foot, try to push that heel up. You're gonna feel a little bit more. And you know, my leg is right up there, so you can, you can go wherever it wants to go. Don't stress it, don't force it. It'll go where it wants to go, okay? So once that, those hamstrings start to work out and stretch and create, get a little bit more flexible, they'll, they'll start to move a little bit more. But don't flex it, don't stress it. The knee might need to be bent a lot for this. So let it be bent a lot, okay? Now, you can hold on to the leg if you feel like it. You can also, I should have said this at the very beginning of the class, you can also get a strap or I have a scarf here. And you can bring that around either on your thigh, your calf, maybe your ankle, or maybe the top of the foot. And just holding in. Yeah, that actually creates a lot more of a stretch through the back 
of the fly. Okay, so, but you don't have to do that. You can, if you want, and just holding it there, and then maybe bending into the knee and stretching that leg back up. We'll do that a couple more times. Bending into the knee, stretching it up. One more time, bending into the knee, stretching it up. And then we're gonna take that leg and bring it all the way down towards the ground. And then holding it there. And I'm gonna push the heel away. So stretching out right through that hip flexor right there. And then we'll take the left leg and hold that in. So it might come in a lot, it might not. Just do what you need to do. You might be holding on underneath the thigh. You might be holding on onto the shin. See if you can flex both feet. Just creating some stretching down in here into the hip flexor. And then perhaps you can take that, with that right leg extended, maybe you can take that left leg up. Don't worry if the knee is bent or not, just do what you can do. And just feel, it should feel good. We don't want to feel any major strain back here or pain. Okay, and then this side we're just going to straighten and flex a little bit. One more time. And then bring that knee back towards you. Bring the foot onto the ground. And then we're going to bend the right knee. So both feet are onto the ground now. Okay. So pushing that right foot into the ground now, now we're going to bring that left leg up. And again, you can decide what to do with that foot. If you want to flex it or point it, just notice how that feels in the body. It's going to feel totally different when you flex it and when you point it. Okay, and then bring that knee in towards your chest, holding on maybe onto the shin, maybe holding on to the thigh. Settling that spine on into the ground. And we're just going to move it up and down a few times. So you can hold on to the leg if that feels good or not. You can bring your hands down or rest them on your belly. Don't worry about straightening that knee. You just do what you can do. And just moving with your breath. As the leg comes away from you, you're breathing in. As the knee comes closer, you're exhaling it out. And then hold it up there. And again, if you do have a strap or something, you can maybe put it around your thigh or your calf or the sole of your foot. And just holding it there, seeing if you can relax here. And then take that foot and lower it all the way down onto the ground. So your left leg is lengthened and your right knee is bent. Holding it here. It's noticing. And maybe even try pushing that heel away from you. Maybe try pointing the foot and noticing how that feels in the leg. And then take that right knee and hug it in towards your chest. Either hold it onto the shin or the thigh or maybe nothing at all. Just feeling a nice stretch here. You might feel it, you might not. Don't worry too much about that. And then bring that foot down. Bend both knees. Okay. We're gonna do that little pelvic tilt again that we were doing before at the very beginning of the class. Forward and back, forward and back a couple of times. So we're exhaling here as the belly comes in. Inhaling here as the belly comes out. Exhaling. We'll do that one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Good. 
and then bring the hips down. Push your weight into the left foot, take your right leg, and your ankle, right ankle, is going to cross over. Okay, and just allow it to rest here. Just notice how that feels. You can open up your arms nice and wide, and then just move from side to side. It's like kind of like half windshield wipers. So it only go to where you can go. So you might want to go all the way down, but don't worry if you can or you can't. You want to move your head from side to side too. That's perfectly fine. Moving from side to side. Okay, on your next exhale, that right foot is going to come all the way down into a twist onto the ground. Making any adjustments that you need to make. I'm just going to hold it here. Take a few breaths. And then bring yourself back up. We'll switch legs. Right leg comes down, left leg comes up. Notice how it feels on this side of the body. And again, we're going to move from side to side. Rock from side to side. Nice and easy and gentle. Side to side. You might notice it feels totally different on this side of the body. Might be easier. Might not be. Let's move side to side. Okay, and then the next time that that left foot goes over towards the right side, you're going to just drop it down. Drop it down to wherever it drops down. Do a humble licorice. Okay, lay down. Lay down. <laughs> she always needs to help me with my yoga. Okay, move over here. Let's see if you can settle here, relax. You might need to adjust something. Let's notice that too. If you need something underneath your head, notice that, some people do. Okay, and then on your next breath, bring yourself back up. Bring the feet down. And then we're gonna stretch both legs up towards the sky. And you might notice that your knees are bent. That's perfectly fine. Learn that they might be straight. Don't, don't force them to do anything. Just allow themselves to hang. This is called legs up the wall. So as you see, I have no wall here. If you have a wall, you can always just allow the feet just to rest against the, the wall with your knees as bent as you like or as straight as you like. But this is really good too. And then just allow the spine just to rest against the ground. Let the shoulders rest against the ground. This is very calming to the nervous system as well too. It's a nice stress release. But everyone's different in how they feel. Sometimes just having that support for your legs to rest against something, that might feel better as well, too. So that's something to try if you've got a wall. And then slowly we're going to bring the knees in towards the chest, bring the legs down. Bring the arms down, have the palms facing up, stretch out the legs. And then here too, you might want to get a pillow or something and put it underneath your head, just so that the head and the neck are in line with the spine. I'm actually fine, so I don't need that, but a lot of people actually do. So sometimes just bringing your hands and running them up your neck into the base of your skull, and then allowing your head to rest the back of the head rest against the ground and then close your eyes and just allow yourself to release so let go of any thoughts of anything that we did of any breath that you cultivated 
just allow your breath to come back to its natural rhythm. Let's find a place that you can just totally relax into. Not thinking about what you're going to do next or what we did before. Just allow yourself to be in this moment. Every exhale, see if you can let go a little bit more. And really, you can stay here for as long as you like. Allowing yourself just to relax even more. Now when you're ready to come out of it, let's bring your attention back to your breath. Perhaps just watch yourself breathe for a couple of moments. And then create some movement in the body, wiggling fingers and toes, maybe getting into the ankles and the wrists, maybe moving the head from side to side. And then giving yourself a nice big stretch, lengthening through your whole body, reawaking, stretching out the toes and the fingers, and then bending into the knees, and then rolling over onto your side, cradling your head with your arm. I'm just staying here for a moment. I'm just allowing everything to come back. Then whenever you're ready, you can push yourself up into a seat, maybe getting that blanket again if you need it to sit on. And sitting in a comfortable position. And just resting your hands on your knees, closing your eyes for a moment. And just, just taking a moment to notice how you're feeling. What's going on there? So we worked on the shoulders, the back, and the hamstrings today. So just bring your awareness to those places. Maybe you can notice a little bit more space in those places. A little bit more openness. Hopefully not any pain. If you, if you do notice any pain, then that means you might have pushed just a little bit too much. And there's a tendency, this competitiveness that we have within ourselves. But to try to stay away from that when we're practicing. Experiment, yes, but remembering our limitations. It's all good. Okay, and then we're gonna bring our hands towards our hearts, bow our heads. And giving gratitude, giving gratitude for your practice, for the breath that you take, that you woke up with, and that you will end this day with. Gratitude for who you are, the strength that lies in within you. Gratitude for where you are, the space, your home, your family, and gratitude for having you share this practice with me, doing something beneficial for yourself, just taking some time just to, to slow down. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste. See you again soon. Bye.